Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a quick stitch tutorial. It was a requested uh, <coughs> tutorial. I'm going to show you quickly. Uh, I'm just going to show you. It shouldn't take long. How to do the extended single crochet and the extended double crochet along with the extended triple crochet. Now they are very, very easy to do. Once you get, actually, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's not hard at all. So depending on what um don't mind this is this is a couple rows of single crochet for me to start out on to show you how to do those stitches so depending on the pattern first we're going to start off with the extended single crochet so what you want to do is i'm just going to it's you you would have you know look at your pattern i'm just going to assume that the first stitch would be just a regular single crochet so i'm going to go ahead and do a regular single crochet into the first stitch and then i'm going to go along and i'm going to show you how to do the extended single crochet so the extended single crochet like i said it's very easy to do you go into the stitch and you draw up a loop and you yarn over and you go through that first loop on your hook so it's kind of like you have a chain one there and then you yarn over and go through the next two loops on your hook and that's it that's an extended single crochet so it's it's quite easy to do so i'll go ahead and show you do it again how you do it again you go into the stitch and you draw up a loop and you yarn over and you only go through one loop on your hook and you have two loops that remain and that kind of just appears to be look like a chain one and then you just go over yarn over and go through the remaining two loops again you go into the next stitch drop a loop and yarn over and go through that first loop on your hook and then yarn over and go through the remaining two and that's how you do the extended single crochet you go in drop a loop yarn over and go through that first loop on your hook You'll have two loops that remain. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. That is the extended single. So, pretty easy. One more time I'll show you. You just go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through that first loop on your hook, and then yarn over and go through the remaining two. That's this extended single. Now I'm going to pull those out and I'm going to show you how to do the extended double. So we are going to pretend like the extended double crochet row starts out with just a regular double crochet, okay? Just for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to do a regular double crochet into that first stitch. And then I'll show you how to do the extended double, which is very similar to the extended single. So we're going to go into the next stitch. We're going to yarn over like we're going to do a regular double crochet and go into that stitch and draw up a loop. We have three loops on our hook now. We're gonna yarn over and just go through that first loop. So it's kind of like we have a chain one there again. Now we're gonna do a regular double crochet like normal. So we're gonna yarn over and go through the, fir the first two loops on our hook and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops on our hook. And that is the extended double. So I'll go ahead and show you that again. So we're gonna yarn over like a regular double crochet, go in and draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over and go through that first loop on our hook just like that and now we're going to just do a regular double crochet like normal yarn over go through two loops and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops like that extended double one more time yarn over like you know regular double crochet draw up a loop yarn over and go through that first loop on our hook just like that so like i'm saying it's just we're just going through that first loop it kind of just looks like a chain one set in there and then we finish off like a regular double crochet yarn over we'll go through the, through the next two and the remaining two i'll show you one more time yarn over go in drop a loop and yarn over and go through that one loop there like that and then we finish off by doing a regular double crochet like normal so we're going to yarn over go through Two loops and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops so that is the extended double crochet now i'm going to show you the triple which is very very similar to the single and the double so let's go ahead and pretend like we're starting now with a triple crochet into the very first stitch so i'm just going to do a regular triple crochet into the very first stitch so i'm going to yarn over twice go into that very first stitch and i'm going to do a regular triple 
crochet. Okay, now we're going to start the extended triple crochets. So we're going to yarn over twice like we do a regular triple crochet, and we're going to go into the stitch and draw up a loop. And we're going to yarn over and go through that first loop. You guessed it, just like that. And then we're going to do our regular triple crochet just like normal. So we're going to yarn over and go through the two loops on our hook, yarn over again and go through the next two loops on our hook, and yarn over again and go through the remaining two loops on our hook. So that is the extended triple crochet. Let's do it again. And yarn over twice like a regular triple, go into the stitch and draw up a loop. We yarn over and go through that first loop on our hook just like that. You see we got four loops that remain just like a regular triple crochet now we yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over and go through the next two loops and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops that's the extended triple and when you look at it it kind of looks like it's sitting on a chain one kind of again we're going to yarn over twice like a regular triple and we're going to go into the stitch draw up a loop and we're going to yarn over and go through that very first loop on our hook we have four loops like we do with a regular triple crochet. And we're gonna just play it out like we do a regular triple crochet. We're gonna yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the next two loops, yarn over and go through the remaining two loops, just like that. One more time, let's yarn over twice like a regular triple, go into the stitch and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through that one loop, that first loop on your hook, and now we just again play it out like a regular triple crochet by yarning over and going through first two loops on your hook yarn over go through the next two loops on our hook and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops on our hook so that is the extended triple so i hope you guys learned something see it's very very easy whether it be the single the double or the triple the only really difference between an extended any of those and a regular is going through yarning over and and going in that one loop like that and then the rest of the stitch is the same so that's it i hope that helped some people out it's actually quite easy to do give it a go give it a practice um these stitches are useful for for lots of lots of things lots of people use them lots of patterns call for it so if you need to know how you can always refer to my video thanks everybody for watching Bye bye